Coach Ryan, the big 4-0, he is over the hill. We want to wish him a happy birthday, wish him all the best, and uh, hope him and Cal and Care have a you know nice day celebrating 40 for him. Very cool, very big accomplishment. Uh, all right, so we're going to get started. There are going to be eight skills in total. Each skill we're going to work with about 30 to 45 seconds, try to get the hang of it. Then we are going to time you two intervals, 30 seconds each. Each interval, you're trying to keep your score based on the system I give you. Uh, I'll tell you how to score it. And then once you've got a score, definitely put it right into the feed right here. Let us know, hey, I had 40 box touches. Put it right into the feed. Tag your buddy who's also doing the live session. Challenge them. And then we're going to do it a second time. If you've gotten a better score, put your better score in there. So keep it going throughout the feed. Then when you're done the session, go to Coach Ryan's uh, Google Sheet and you can enter all eight of your scores. And once you are entered, once all eight of your scores are in that Google Sheet, Google Sheet only, I'm gonna go check out the scores and we're gonna choose a winner from that list for one of these Corver mini balls. We've had a few folks that have gotten them. Uh, we are gonna send those out as soon as the sec sessions are over, as soon as we have our winners. Uh, a few folks have gotten them. I think you guys have seen the pictures of them. So. Feel free when you're done, upload those scores into the Google Sheet. That way we can uh, you know, pick a new winner after each and every session. Uh, I think that's it. I think we should go ahead and get into it. So we're going to get started. Something pretty simple for the first one. Get a feel for it. And then we're going to go live and we're going to try to keep our score. You're going to box three times, roll across, pull behind the other leg, pop it forward. Pull it back in. Box three times, roll across, pull it back, pop it forward. Box three times, roll across, pull it back, pop. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're not going to do that to start. All we're going to do to start, inside and outside of one foot. In with the right, out with the right. In with the right, out with the right. Moving the ball side to side with the big toe and then the little toe. Big toe, little toe. Go for about 10, 12 seconds. I'm going to tell you to switch and we're going to go to the opposite foot. We're moving the ball about six inches to a foot with every single touch. Go ahead. Get a feel for it. You should be working maybe with your dominant foot right now. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold there. Switch feet now. Go with the opposite foot, just shifting the ball side to side, side to side. As the ball moves to the right, your feet should move to the right. As the ball moves to the left, your feet should move to the left. I should not be dribbling left-footed for anyone to see, but here we are. Just moving the ball side to side. So again, that ball shift side to side. Big toe, little toe. Big toe, little toe. Every touch, I reset my feet. Every touch, I reset my feet with the ball. All right, keeping score, 30 seconds. At 15 seconds, I'll tell you to switch. When you hear switch, switch to the opposite foot. Every touch is one point. Ready, set, go. One, two. That ball's got to move at least six inches for your point to count. Okay, you've got to shift the ball side to side. Woo. And switch, other foot, keeping your score. Remember, you're moving your feet with each and every touch. Eight more seconds. Every touch, you're logging a point. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work. Whatever your score was, feel free to pop it in or wait until after this round. See if you can beat it and then pop it into the sheet. Here we go. Catch your breath. Get a little stretch. We're going to keep score again. That ball's moving six inches to a foot. Side to side, side to side with every touch. Ready, set, go. Remember, I will tell you when to switch feet. You're going to keep rolling 10 more seconds on this foot. As the ball moves to the outside of your body, you've got to adjust your feet to get back with it. Shifting the ball side to side. Switch feet, switch feet, switch feet. You might not want to, but we're going to go with it. If I can dribble with my left for all you guys to see, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Three, two, one. Time, time, time. All right. Every touch of the ball, one, two. Each was a point. Every touch was one point. Feel free to get those scores in. Let's see what our scores are. What do we have coming in? Let's see the scores. Bring them in, bring them in. Let us know what you had. I'm gonna get a sip. As you're getting a drink, take a look at the screen. See what your buddies had. See what, who's got the top score. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so should have had our drink now. Back to the ball. Same inside, outside, but both feet are gonna get involved. So I'm gonna go in with the right, out with the left. In with the left, out with the right. In with one foot, out with the other. In with one foot, out with the other. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. In with the right, out with the left. In with the left, out with the right. Inside, outside, inside, outside. My inside touch should transfer from one foot all the way to the other. Once it gets to the other, simply help it along, step with it. Inside gets it to the other foot, help it along. Cut to the opposite foot, help it along. Cut, help it along. Cut it, help it along. Cut to the other foot, push it. Cut to the other foot, push it. When we push, it's with the top of our foot, kind of the top of where our pinky toe is. Cut to the other foot, push to the side. Cut to the other foot, push to the side. Knee should be bent. You're moving with the ball. If the ball goes out to the right, you move to the right. If it goes out to the left, you move out to the left. All right, so we're going to keep score now. I'm going to set my clock. We're going to go 30 seconds. Every push, one point. Two, three, four. Every push, give yourself one point. Every push is one point. Remember, transfer feet with every touch. Set, keeping your score, keeping your score. Every push is a point. Go, in, out, one, in, out, two. Get it to the other foot before you push out to the side. Every outside touch, give yourself a point. Don't just stop it with the inside. Don't hit it too hard. We gotta weigh that touch so it gets to the opposite foot only. Don't want it to go too much further than that. Definitely don't want to just stop it. 10 more seconds. Cut it to the other foot and push. Cut it to the other foot and push. Weigh that touch so it gets to the opposite foot before you push out to the side. Three, two, one. Time, time, time. Remember, outside touch was a point. Outside touch was a point. Here we go. Resetting the clock. The weight of that inside touch is everything here. If it just stops, you've got too much work to do to make your next one. If it goes too far, for obvious reasons, you've lost control of the ball. Okay, so we need to weigh that touch so it just gets to the opposite foot. Get it to the opposite foot, then push it along. All right, so here we go. Keeping our score. Every outside is one point. Ready, set, go. One, two, bend your knees. Your body should be condensed over the ball, and that ball should be moving side to side. You shouldn't be losing any ground. You shouldn't be running into any furniture. You should be in the same area you started. 12 more seconds. I'm not going forward, I'm not going back. I'm just shifting side to side. Six more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. That's 30, that's two skills down, very good. Whatever your score was, put it into your sheet, put it into the feed, tag a buddy that you know is also in the feed, give them a shout, let them know what you had, and let's get a little competition, a little banter going through the live feed, go for it. I know Coach Stimmo is following along. Coach Stimmo, let's see what we got, let's see what we got here. Whew. All right, reset the clock. Next one we are gonna do. Next one is gonna be inside outside, like we've just done, followed by two rolls with the bottom of the feet. Start on one side of your little area. In with the right, out with the left, roll, roll. Alternating feet with every touch. Inside, outside, roll, roll. Inside, outside, roll, roll. Inside, outside, roll, roll. Roll. So the ball starts on one side, in with the right, out with the left, left, right. In with the left, out with the right, right, left. So get a feel for it. In, out, double roll. In, out, double roll. The first of the two rolls is going to be tight. The second one, you're going to roll and step into new space. Inside, outside, tight roll, big roll into new space. Inside, outside, tight roll, big roll into new space. So I start on one side of the screen. By the time I'm done the sequence, I end up on the opposite side of the screen. So let's give this a try. After your second roll, one, two, three. That's how we're going to keep score. After that second roll, that roll and step, then we're going to log our point. Remember, as always, take this down to your level, bring it up to your level. Whatever it is, try to minimize the steps that it takes in between touches if you can. You need them, take them, just so you can get the sequence, all right? 
You've got to challenge yourself based on where you are. All right, here we go. Keeping score. Every big roll is a point. Ready? Set. Go. One. Two. Three. Inside, outside, small roll into a big roll. Inside, outside, small roll into a big roll. That little roll is just transferring it to the opposite foot so we can take that big roll into new space. 12 more seconds. In and out. Small roll to a big roll. In and out. Woo! Small one into a big one. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Every big roll was one point. Every big roll you lost one point there. Very nice, one point for each. One point for each big roll. Again, everything's kind of moving side to side. Shouldn't end up into the screen, shouldn't end up into the tables. All my touches are keeping on a tight line, moving side to side. I'm not going forward, I'm not going back. Everything side to side, everything I do. All right, here we go, keeping our score. Ready, set, go. One, two, your outside touch can't be so heavy that you can't get that first of the two rolls. Your inside to outside touch is tight. That outside touch has got to be tight so you can quickly get that same foot back on top of the ball to start your rolls. Outside touch is tight. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Time. 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 Good stuff, my friends. Good stuff. We're three down. Three skills in, three skills in. Very nice work. Whew. We are gonna have five more, five more. Remember, after the next one, we're gonna announce the winner from Monday session, Monday session. All right, here we go. Next one, inside, stop, push. So inside of one foot, stop of the other, Continue with that same one that stopped it, push. In with the right, stop with the left, push with the left. In left, stop right, push with the right. Inside stop, push. Inside stop, push. Transfer from one foot to the other, push to new space. One to the other, push to new space. Inside stop, push. Inside touch happens on that shoulder, okay? Stop happens on that shoulder, push into new space. Inside stop, push. Quick as you can, transfer to the other foot before you push. Transfer to the other foot and then push. Move it, push to the side. Move the ball, push to the side. Evade the defender, push to the side. Okay, inside stop, push. Inside stop, push. That's gonna be the, I think, simpler level here. Taking the extra steps in between the push. If we can, stop, push, right into it. Stop, push, right in it. Stop, push, right into it. So if you can, push, don't hit the ground, start your next touch. Push, don't hit the ground, start your next touch. If you're able. If not, no big deal. All right, so here we go. Keeping score. Every stop is going to be one point. Every stop is one point. Ready, set, go. One, two. Remember, take the extra steps like I'm doing right now if you need them. If you need them, push, reset your feet. If you need them, push, reset your feet. Every time you stop, you're getting a point. You got 15 more seconds. Reset your feet every time. If you need, 10 more seconds. Every time, reset your feet after your push. Don't push too heavy. You're gonna have too much work to do to get the ball moving the opposite way. Three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Our, our grand feet almost tripped up. Running low on battery. Let's hope we make it through. All right, so we're gonna keep score again. Inside stop push. Ready? I'm going to show you this one a little higher level, a little more difficult way. Keeping that pushing foot in the air after that touch. Ready? Every stop is a point. Go. One, two, three. This way, we're a little more efficient with our movements and with our touches. We can get a lot more touches in a lot less time because we've got a lot less steps to take. We're cutting out two steps on either side. We're placing it with that little bunny hop on the opposite foot. If we can, this is kind of how we want to do it. Three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work, nice work. You're halfway through. Very good, very good. We are four of eight. 
four of eight. So as promised, we will wish Coach Ryan another happy 40th. Another happy 40th. We got it a little late. Coach Ryan's 40th B-Day. Happy B-Day to him. Uh, our winner from Monday's session. From Monday's session. Our winner was... Drum roll. Kelvin. Kelvin from California, Maryland. Kelvin, congratulations. Hopefully you're with us right now, but want to make a live announcement. I'll be sending you guys an email asking for the mailing address so I can ship this out to you guys uh, this afternoon or tomorrow, whatever whatever we need to do. On Friday, we'll announce today's winner. That's what we're going to start doing next session. We'll announce the winner from the session prior. All right, so moving back on. Reset the clock. Slide, stop, push. Just like what we've done, but instead of an inside to stop, we're going to slide, stop, push to new space. Slide, stop, push to new space. Slide, stop, push. Slide, stop, push. Slide, stop, push. If you haven't seen the slide before, start on top of the ball, roll down the outside of it to transfer the ball to the other foot. Push to new space. Slide down the outside to transfer the ball. Stop it. Push to new space. Slide down the outside to transfer the ball. Stop it. Push to new space. Slide, stop. Push to new space. Slide, stop. Push to new space. All right, here we go. Keeping your score. Every slide, give yourself one point. Every slide, give yourself one point. Remember, take the steps if you need them, but if you can keep that foot in the air, go for it. Just like the last one we've done. 30 seconds. Every slide is a point. Go. One, two. Slide down the outside before you stop with the other foot. Slide down the outside of the ball before you stop with the other foot. All of our movements happen underneath of our shoulders. Okay, Don't let that ball get too far outside the frame of your body. Keep it underneath of your shoulder, not directly down the middle, not outside of the frame of your body. Seven more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Very nice. Very nice. 30 down. 30 down, my friends. Turf needs a clean. Whew. All right. Try that one more time. This time I'm going to show it at kind of a, another level if you can. Slide, stop, push, right into the next slide. Stop, push, right into it. Remember, we're eliminating steps, meaning we can move the ball a little quicker, a little more efficiently. The less steps we take, okay, the quicker we can move the ball. Here we go. Whew. 30 seconds. Every slide is one. Set, go. One, two, three, four. Slide down, stop with the other foot. Slide down it, stop with the other foot. If you're doing it like this, your push cannot be heavy, okay? It's gotta be a light push so that you can still slide down the outside of the ball. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. Nice work, nice work, nice work. That was our slide stop push. Two rounds of 30, whatever score you had. Definitely put that in there. Let Coach Demo know. We have got three more, three more. Three more skills to roll through. Kind of get this hump day underway. I don't know about you guys, but my day, my week, really this whole quarantine kind of revolves around what we're doing right here. So I really appreciate the support. I think, you know, we'd lose our minds if we weren't able to do this with you guys. So appreciate the support. Appreciate that you guys are out to do it. All right, next one. We're going to make those V shapes that we covered in the last session. First one, okay, first half. We're going to split it into halves over the 30 seconds. You're going back outside of the right in a V. Back outside of the left in a V. So the ball comes towards your body, then out of your body with the pinky toe. Towards with the bottom, out with the pinky toe. Towards your body with the bottom, out with the pinky toe. Back, pinky toe out. Back, pinky toe out. Look, I'm drawing a wide V, okay, or an L shape with my two movements. One back, one out. One back, one out. When the ball goes back, I hop back. When the ball goes back, I hop back. So that's the outside of the foot. At 15, we're going to switch. We'll go back with the bottom, inside forward. Back with the bottom, inside forward. So this one's slightly different. Instead of focusing on the hop back so much, we're focused more on the turn of our hips into where we want to go next. So as the ball comes back, I turn 
to where I want to be. As the ball comes back, I'm turning to where I want to be next. So the first 15, outside. Second 15, inside of the foot, okay? And try as best you can to draw a full 90 degree, okay? With the pull and then the push. At least a 45 degree, but if we can, 90 degrees between the two movements. Shouldn't be flat, shouldn't be narrow, okay? Kind of find that happy medium, okay? Try to make a 90 degree turn from one to the other. V and L shape, okay, if numbers aren't your thing. All right, here we go. Keeping our score, I'll tell you when to switch from the outside touches to the inside touches. Ready, set, go. One, every V is a point, sorry. Every V is a point. Start however you like, just make sure you switch the surface that you're pushing with at the 15 mark. What do we got? Three, two, one, switch. Inside the foot to push. Inside the foot to push, turning your hips. Or outside if you started with this one. Kind of up to you. Just make sure you switched when I yelled switch. And if you didn't, so be it. Nobody is gonna crush you for it. Three, two, one, time, time, time. Woo! All right, I'm getting a quick sip. Punch a score in. Let us know where you are. All right, here we go. Another 30 seconds. Remember, after 15, you're switching from outside to inside touches. Make sure your hips and your plant feet are turning into the direction that you want to go with the ball. Makes it a lot easier to take that second touch after the pull. Get it to where it needs to be. Ready? 30 seconds, keeping your score. Switching at 15, switching on my call. Go! Backwards before it goes out. Back into your body before it goes out, completing that 90 degree angle. Switch, inside of the feet. For me, make sure you're pushing about six inches to a foot after each pull. Three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Whatever your better the two scores was, get it in, get it in. Love to go back, see all the scores people had, the banter back and forth. Our next one, next one we're going to get into. Woo -hoo -hoo. Guys, after this, you've got to see Coach Kevin's trick shot. Left footed, left footed, right in the basket like he didn't even care. Soon he'll have to tell us, first take, tenth take, we don't know. But impressive, none the least. You've got to give it a try. Got to send us your entries. Really want to see if you guys can duplicate what Kev's come up with. He's going to do some of these every week. But if no one replies, he's not going to do it again. I'd like to see what else he's got up his sleeve. All right, so our next one. Pull the, followed by a roll across. So start on the outside of your working area. Pull the ball back. Push into a V. Opposite foot rolls into new space. That same one you just rolled with. Pull V, roll across. So if my right does the V, my left does the roll. Then my left will do the V, my right does the roll. This should look familiar. We did this one on Monday. Pull V, roll. Pull V, roll. Pull V, roll across. Pull V, roll across. When you go to push out of your V, it's got to be pretty tight because you've got to land that foot and get the other one onto the ball to roll across. So if that V is too heavy, you're never gonna be able to catch it. That V has gotta be relatively tight, just about a foot out in front of you at most, so that you can quickly land that foot, roll across with the other. V shape, roll across. V shape, roll across. V, roll. V, roll. Tight V, big roll, step into new space. Tight V, big roll, step into new space. When you roll, it's a roll and step. You should end up two feet, three feet away from where you started. Tight V, big roll across. The V is too difficult. Just do a straight up pull push if you need to. But we would like to change the angle of the ball. So when we get outside against live defender soon, we're going to be able to pull away from a defender into new space. Away from a tackle into new space, if we can. All right, so here we go. Keeping score, every roll, give yourself a point. Every roll, give yourself a point. 30 seconds, go, one, two, three, 
before. I'm sorry, I'm going to slip here. Coach Rye, I need new kicks. I need new kicks, Coach Rye. Every roll, give yourself a point. Got about 12 more seconds. Roll, step to new space. Roll, step to new space. When you roll, it's under the balls of your feet, not under your heel, not too much on the tip of your toes, kind of under the balls of your feet. Three, two, one, time. I think we went over time, that's okay. Every roll was a point there. Every time you rolled, you got yourself a point. All right. One more time, see if we can top that score. Remember, this is our seventh of eight skill. Seventh of eight skills. Here we go, 30 seconds, every roll is a point. Set, go. One, two, three. Tight on that second part of your V shape. Tight on the push, or else you're gonna have too much work on your roll. Keep it pretty tight on that outside of the foot touch. That way you're able to step behind the ball and roll across into new space. Five, four, three, two, one, time. You're seven of eight in. You've got one more skill to get through. One more, one more step to getting better today. <sighs> Grab a sit, punch your score in. Whew. All right, all right, last one. Last one, we're gonna combine two of those V shapes back to back. First one you're gonna do, Pull, push with the outside, or you can pull, push with the inside. We're just making that pull, push motion in that L or V shape. After you've made that pull, push, quick as you can, get your foot on the ball, pull Cruyff behind. All right, when you're done, you're gonna make a W. All right, so I'm gonna pull V, then I'm gonna pull Cruyff. All right, pull V, then I'm going to pull Cruyff. Pull a V, pull Cruyff. Backward, forward, backward, behind. Backward, forward, backward, behind. If you need, take your steps in between the V and the Cruyff. If you need, pull it, push it, pull it, tuck behind. Pull the ball, make sure you can push the ball before you pull it again, tuck behind. All right, so if you're a younger player, definitely take the extra steps in between. If you're an older player, a little more experienced player, or you're feeling like you want a little bit more of a challenge, okay, can we keep our foot on the ball the entire time? Can we pull push in a V shape, pull Cruyff in a V shape? Pull push, pull Cruyff. Pull push, pull Cruyff. Notice after my push, I go straight to the top of the ball to pull Cruyff. Straight to the top of the ball to pull Cruyff, all right? That's kind of the next level. That's kind of what we want to strive for. All right, here we go. 30 seconds, keeping your score. Every pull Cruyff, log yourself a point. Every pull Cruyff, log yourself one point. Set, remember, make those angles with every touch. Try not to go forward the whole way or just flat the whole way. Keep everything at an angle. Every touch moves at an angle. Set, go. One, every... Pull Cruyff, two, give yourself a point. If you can, go straight to the top of the ball after your push. Make an angle with each and every touch. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nice work, that's nice work, that's nice work. This is a tougher one, especially when you're keeping the ball at an angle. Okay, very tough to get those skills to go back to back. Definitely not impossible. Definitely something that's not out of your wheelhouse. Okay, set up forward, move the ball. Okay, after you've gone back, uh, our grand feet is down again. All right, we're back. We're back. After we push the ball, keep it at an angle. When we go to pull. Other foot goes forward so we can croif behind. All right, that croif, pull with one, forward on the other so the ball has space to go behind. Forward so this ball has space to go behind. All right, here we go. Enough chatter, 30 seconds, keep your score. Ready, set, go. 
One, pull, push, pull, cry. Make the V with your push. Complete that V shape with your push. Pull, push out to the side before you pull, cry behind. Pull, push out to the side before you pull, cry behind. You got about 10 more seconds. Five, four, get there and back. Three, two, come on, get one more. One, get one more, get one more. Bonus time, get one more. Time, time. Woo! That's time, my friends. That's eight down, that's eight down. That's eight sessions, that's eight skills, eight sessions. Very, very nice work. Woo wee! Get a sip. Again, log your score into the Google Sheet. You want to be entered to win a mini ball. We can announce you, your name, your area on Friday. Uh, we are also going to give a mini ball to the winner of Coach Kev's Trick Shot Challenge. Make sure you check that out. Try to recreate it. Tag us so you can be entered. Love seeing the pics. Love seeing the videos of everybody working at home. Okay, Keep those coming in. That's kind of what keeps us going. We really, really appreciate the support. If you can shoot us a review on Facebook or on Google, please do that. That helps us tremendously. So mom, dad, shoot us a review. Good, bad, ugly, whatever it is. You know, just kind of let us know how we're doing. Uh, Kelvin, congratulations on your mini ball. We will send out the winner for this session uh, on Friday. Friday we'll announce that winner. So get those scores in. We want to see who's going to be our next mini ball winner. And keep practicing your social distancing. Keep washing your hands. Keep being safe. Keep being healthy. It's a decision we have to take on upon ourselves, okay? No one's going to tell you to do it. You've got to do it kind of on your own and it'll serve uh, the greater good of everybody. You know, if we all do our part, we'll get back on the field soon enough. All right, well, thank you, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Jersey Day. Peace.